A close family friend and army general for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has reportedly fled Syria and the Assad regime. Here's CNN. Anaf Talas is a friend of the Syrian president and his father uh, served as the Allah defense Allah. minister to Bashar al-Assad's father over the course of three decades. Talas is the highest ranking official to desert the regime so far and had reportedly been under house arrest for refusing to participate in the government's crackdown. The BBC reports on his reasons for leaving. Sources close to Talas who met him days before he deserted told the BBC he was very angry about what was happening in Syria and accused the regime of taking the country to hell. According to the Washington Post, pro-Assad websites downplayed the importance of the desertion. For example, the paper translates a piece from the Syrian website, Serious Steps, that says, Syrian intelligence would have captured him if they wanted to. His decision to defect will not affect us at all. But the New York Times has a different take, reporting the defection could show the regime is starting to unravel. The departure of General Talas was the first within the gilded circle around the president since the uprising against him began in March 2011, representing the kind of embarrassing departure long anticipated to indicate that the government's cohesion was cracking. And an analyst tells CBC, if nothing else, the defection will raise the level of suspicion within the inner circle. If he has gone, this general, this will be considered a significant blow to the regime and probably will cause concern within the regime and a lot of looking at one another, possibly asking who could be next. It's unclear whether Talas will join the Syrian opposition, but Euronews reports he is set to appear in Paris at the Friends of Syria meeting. That would cheer the 100-nation group, which, given the absence of Russia and China, is accused of being nothing more than a talking shop. According to Al Jazeera, the Talas family hails from Syria's Homs province, which has seen much of the uprising's violence since March. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Goris. Multiple sources, the real story.